Hello and welcome back to Let's Try. We're trying Kaiju Wars. This is brought to you in part by the Game Development World Championship as well as Foolish Mortal Games Inc. They uh, they keep provided by both of them. Thank you very much. You can check out the Game Development World Championship website for a variety of different indie games. And if you're a developer, it's free to join and you can win some prizes. And that, that about sums it up. We're going to try Kaiju Wars. I've already been playing a little bit of the campaign just to find out how this game works. And it does. <laughs> um, I have a couple of gripes here and there with this game, but I'm going to go through it. Uh, the thing I think I want to get across primarily is if you're like me and you thought that this game was going to be a fun follow-up to something like Into the Breach, no. Um, this is definitely not, uh, not like Into the Breach. And that's fine. It's 100% fine. It has um, so some visual similarities, but the, the, the similarities kind of stop there. Uh, and I'll go through the differences as well as uh, how this game stands apart from other tactics games. We're going to go through it. I'm going to skip the storyline because we're, we're in uh, you know a few, a few missions into this game now. It is uh, the, the the story is like very humorous. Like it's got a lot of uh, jokes here and there, as well as like witty banter. Uh, and I, I appreciate the story, um, but I'm definitely going to skip it for in favor of the gameplay this time. This hidden valley. I haven't played this mission yet, so you know it's hopefully going to show off um, features and mechanics that I do understand and have uh, am familiar with now. But maybe show off some new things. This hidden valley doesn't have any money or bases. Instead, we'll use experimental weapons. Select an experimental weapon as a project and then click on a lab to deploy it. So we've got experimental weapons. Uh, we can click on this. This will tell us where the kaiju is coming from. And we get these three cards that let uh, give us a special ability. Experimental freeze ray, experimental hovercraft shielding can deflect one hit. Experimental transforming fighter jet. Okay, we gotta try that. Is that a new model? Select the lab and we'll get to work on it. Prepare gun cross wing. So it's going to take five turns. Deploying this experimental weapon will take some time. Okay. So besides that, we're going to have to do some of the normal stuff. Well, we, we our kaiju is already here. So, um, you know, they're going to have to rush job that <laughs> transforming uh, fighter. So here we have Hairball Prime. Uh, they they give you the opportunity to name the kaiju, which I think is fun, and so I named this one high, uh, Hairball Prime. Experimental weapons take time to deploy, and each lab can only work on deploying one weapon at a time. Luckily, the secret weapon project can speed that up. Play it once we have weapons being pre prepped. So we have the secret weapon reduce deployment time of all experimental weapons deploying, awaiting that deployment by two. <laughs> All right, so now it's only going to take two turns to deploy this transforming fighter. In the meantime, this kaiju is going to have uh, a heck of a time just, like, destroying all of our stuff. Um, now, there's a couple things I want to talk about. <clears throat> Recover health equate. So, what you just saw, um, me playing a card in order to rush job the... Uh, experimental weapon. That was me playing a card, right? These are pulled randomly from, I don't know, some kind of weird pool of cards that I, I don't really get any information on. These are, these almost feel like random every single time I, I see them, right? And then the kaiju get their turn, but in between my turn and the kaiju's turn, there's this weird, like, AI also doing stuff. They're also playing cards. They're probably pay pulling from another kind of weird pool of cards. I, I super do not get any information on those cards, but I do know that the enemy is doing something, and those will come in the form of like kaiju is uh, you know get, regains their health, kaiju gets an extra turn or something like that. Kaiju waves the first attack done to them, stuff like that. So let's do um, reduce. Okay, we want to. Well, let's reduce time as well again. So we get our gun cross wing. Um, this gets a, a counter of three air attack, three ground attack to speed five. If this thing is is ridiculous, um, every every unit I've had control of up until this point has been very very simplistic. So this is our like one of our 
the most wild um, units we've ever had. So this guy, what we're gonna see, I'm gonna, I'm looking at the kaiju. The kaiju will always attack the nearest building. They'll always move towards and attack the nearest building. Sometimes they'll be equally um, spaced from like separate buildings, in which case it'll show you like it has a 25 or 50% chance to go in this direction or 50% chance to go in that direction. And so you can kind of predict where the kaiju will go. I like this aspect of the game. I kind of like that you have to predict where the kaiju go. Unlike Into the Breach, kaiju are like, they're, they're like one beefy unit that you have to, that's gonna take you the entire mission to take down. I'm sure as the game will progress, there will be multiple kaiju that, you know, you have, and you have beefy units as well to take them down. But for now, it's been very much like, here's one kaiju, uh, now like do your best and and uh, try and kill them and sometimes they don't even get to kill them um, it the vi victory does not necessarily mean killing the kaiju in this case it means breakthroughs achieve to achieve two dr. Wagner must survive this is what maybe one of my issues one of the game I'll talk about that in a second um, when it comes to the kaiju's turn there's a couple of things that uh, a couple of gripes I have First of all, I hate this effect. I'm just straight up gonna use the H word. Straight up. Cannot stand that glitch effect. I don't know what it's like, I, I don't know what it's supposed to represent necessarily, but it's really annoying. And I just don't see any benefit to it. Um, it it's just, a, I don't know, it's, it's really annoying. Uh, and I don't really see an option to turn it off if I'm being honest. I've, I've looked. There are some really good options, and I, I might actually turn some of these off so you can see why I turned them up. Like, kaiju turn speed is up. Um, disable unit counterattack animations. Quick unit attack animations. Uh, skip economy cinematic. I'll, I'll turn all of these off so you can see why I've, you know, disable camera tracking. Show quips from buildings and units. I, if I, there were more of these, I would turn all of them on. Because I think um, this was something that they, you know, they, they wanted to give the game character. Let's go ahead and do an uh, experimental anti-ground laser. And we'll do that there. Prepare the maser. So I've put our <clears throat> unit here. Um, and we're going to attack with it. So I'm going to do two damage. Um, now I can't move this unit. The unit is done. Uh... And the kaiju, you know, it being wanting to attack this building is going to go through this unit. It is going to destroy this unit. There's no stopping that. But this unit has a counter of three. So that means that before the kaiju absolutely destroys our gun cross wing, they're going to take three damage. So let's see what some of these animations look like and maybe why I've turned them off. So there, here's the, there's the counter attack that we just saw and then the kaiju moves over and then and then wipes out the building and oh cool gun cross robot has turned into a regular robot where is it though mad science economy turn so we see the you know buildings make economy some will make you money some will make you science you need both of those in order to you know do stuff now, this kaiju has a unique ability in that it's going to do a tail swipe, so our gun cross robot is going to be, unfortunately, in the way. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to move into the direction of that the kaiju is going towards, because that's the only building over there. So we're going to do four damage. And apparently... Oh, okay. Yeah. Four damage, and then we're going to do another two damage from the counter. We're also going to select the secret weapon so we can speed up this maser. Um... And I'll, I'll, I'll do one more set of animations, but like I turned these off right away. Um, I just found them, they, they kind of like add nothing to the game for me uh, and just like slow the game down a bit. I understand why they're a thing and I understand the spirit uh, uh, that, you know, the devs are going for. Uh, and I can appreciate all of that. I'm not gonna, you know, necessarily uh, poo poo all of that. But I will say that um, personally, I, I found it added nothing um in terms of the objectives i mean you just saw what happened breakthrough to achieve two so now um we have one breakthrough so we're just kind of holding off until we get that second breakthrough 
That second breakthrough happens when we get enough research to get to that. So we're just kind of like delaying, you know, this, the, the kaiju from fighting us. Does this have range? It would be really cool if it did. It has a, um, a crowned attack six. So we're going to move it uh, and zero counter. Okay, so we, we get like one attack with this thing and then it's done. Um, so let's go ahead and work on a new secret weapon. Experimental hovercraft shielding can deflect one hit. Um, we could prepare the gun cross wing again, or we can try this other weapon. Let's try the other weapon. We have an optional quest also win by turn nine. Um, so I guess the thing that I find a little bit disheartening about Kaiju Wars is that your goal is rarely to actually kill the kaiju and because of this like extra like villain cards that are being pulled it, it rarely seems like it's actually possible if you were just fighting the kaiju um you could eventually wear them down and i mean like you can see this guy has seven more health that i have to wear down and then another 12. so destroying a kaiju or killing a kaiju is no small feat the fact that this thing is doing six damage is kind of absurd like that's way more damage than we ever get to do generally i've been doing like two and three damage and even with the gun crosswing um you know you don't you don't get uh, a, a large amount of damage you get like three and then two and then you get some counter the counter is quite good and some units are better at countering than they are at attacking but then i mean this unit gets the tail swipe so in that sense uh if you like walk most units are going to be able to walk up to the kaiju and attack and then they're done um and if it's from like behind or the side in this case they would just get destroyed so now our lab is gone extremely precious we must start preparation game again at a different lab next time be more careful well i mean did we have a separate lab i guess we did yeah, we did have a second lab. Okay, so, oops. My bad. So let's do, um... Let's do another gun cross wing. Oh, we, we don't actually get a secret weapon card anymore. Okay. So, I'm just waiting five turns. Um... That's a real shame. I don't think I'm gonna make it now. Uh, and I'm probably going to turn these animations off. In fact, let's do that right now. Quick unit attack animations. Disable unit counterattack. Slow show monster ability animations first time only. Sure. Show level intro cinematic. Uh, blur camera when zooming. Skip economy. Disable camera effects when playing dark projects. Skip between mission story. Disable camera tracking on kaiju. Show quips from buildings. No, we're good. Um, so... And uh, Kaiju turn speed, we're gonna go like there. So I'll finish off this one and then we're done. Oh, I guess it, oh, we removed that glitchy animation. That's kind of nice. I did. I don't know which one did that, but I'm, I'm happy with that. So you can turn that off, that's nice. Um, so we are actually gonna fail because I can't actually do anything. This is a unique mission in that I have no way to actually produce any units. So you can see mad science, kaijus recover health equal to city science produ pr production. That's actually a pretty lenient card that the enemy has played. Generally, I've seen a lot of times uh, the enemy has played a card that uh, lets the kaiju recover eight health. This is actually a pretty deep game and it's got some interesting things going for it. Um, I do actually really appreciate that this game treats your units very disposably. It shifts the tactics and the strategies um, maybe away from like your units being precious resources that you need to make sure they survive everything you know like like a lot of tactics games do that and instead shifts things towards more like a almost like a city builder um there's also this like weird sub objective like you notice it said keep dr wagner alive um so if the kaiju destroy, like kills your doctor, basically your commander, you can think of them as maybe the king or queen, I don't know, you know, but more specifically the king. Um, 
then uh, then the game is over. But you can move the king. Um, but you only produce research if the if Dr. Wagner is in a lab, uh, as well as other resources. Like people have a weird morale bonus where they only they only produce currency if basically the doctor is in her lab um, working on the milestone. So this is maybe what a what a normalish mission will look like. We got a chance of three projects each turn. Don't worry if they all look good. The ones you don't. So th those are referring to the cards that we get. So these are what our normal cards tend to look like. Gain three science. So you know we can work towards a milestone more quickly that way. Gain more money. So this you know this would be good to uh, for for uh, buying more units. And it's the first turn, so we could do something like that. Um, where's the kaiju coming from? Over here. So, um, I'm gonna build in the middle. So, this is what you generally do, is you have these foundations that let you build, uh, bases, and the bases let you build units. Um, army bases build ground units, airfields grow air units, the air units move faster, uh, etc. You know? So, um, what I'm gonna do is build an army base, right? No, we're not. <laughs> No, we're not. No, we're gonna end our turn first. <laughs> no, we're not. <laughs> Never mind. Now, now we're gonna build an army base. Gotcha. Um, because I want to get our tanks as as close to the kaiju as I can in our in our first early rounds. Um, construct an airfield for free. We can do that, and the airfield can be farther from the center. So let's go ahead and do that. You can't um, you can't build any units from the 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 base on the same turn that you've built it. And our our um, objective is still to get two breakthroughs. So here's our ka uh, kaiju, and this time it's a graboid. Graboid is like I named it that. Um, pretty. It's it's honestly a lot tougher than the other one. The uh, Furball Prime, or whatever I called it. So, it, it immediately gets more health. So now we're going to start building some units. Also extremely close to my lab. Big, I hope you evacuate us safely. Remember, evacuation vehicles can be chained. So, um, what they are talking about is, right now, Dr. Wagner is in this lab. And I'm gonna keep her there because there's at least one building in the way, so we're, we're okay for now. Um, but in the next turn, the kaiju is 100% probably going to attack this lab, uh, which is not ideal. We don't have enough to, okay. Construct an airfield, deploy or repair a unit for free. Nice, let's do that. Uh, and we want, I think we want a tank. Oh, we could do, we could do missiles. Missiles are nice. I like the tank though. I don't know. They have the they have the same speed. The tank. The nice thing about the tank is it does counter damage, whereas the missiles are just damage. But we'll do the missiles, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna head our way over here. All right. So the kaiju is gonna come over here. It's gonna destroy this uh, building in front of the lab. Then we're gonna need to do. We're gonna need to move Dr. Wagner. Yep, all right. Um, that security meta is basically the enemy is finding out where Dr. Wagner is. If the enemy, not the kaiju, the enemy finds out where Dr. Kaiju is, sorry, Dr. Kaiju, uh, Dr. Wagner, then the kaiju will, instead of using their normal behavior of attacking the nearest building close to them, they'll head straight for Dr. Wagner. And obviously when that happens, then we lose. So now that the, the, the kaiju is very close to, um, you know, our, our lab and about, about to destroy it, we're, we, we need to move her out of there. So we're gonna head her, uh, head her towards the other lab. And remember, as long as she's in a lab, she will like produce research and stuff and we'll get money. Uh, deal three damage to a monster that would, uh, I don't know. Plus one for each army base. Deploy or repair a unit for free. Might be better. Construct an air base for free. Let's do um, a free unit. We're going to do a tank. And we're going to head in the direction 
Now the, the thing, the issue about this creature is it takes one damage just off the cuff. It just takes a damage. Like you can't hurt it um, once. Does this have counter? It does have counter. So what we could do is hit it once here. So it's gonna take that damage for free. Suffer no damage. And then we're gonna hit it with the missiles. And that way we actually do some damage to it. But you can see maybe what I mean. Like it took us two separate attacks in order to actually like think about hitting uh, the kaiju. And okay, very commonly the enemy will just like get a card that lets them recover the kaiju's health for free. And uh, so it's, it kind of seems like one-sided. So I think the idea of like you can earn a milestone by defeating a kaiju is kind of laughable. Like, I really don't see that being a thing most of the time. So I'm gonna, we're gonna move Wagner to, oh, I think they'll make it, yeah, transfer to lab. Um, you can chain her, like you can move her to uh, uh, like an airbase and then move from the airbase to the lab and stuff like that, but I don't, I haven't yet kind of figured out how that works. Um, and also you can move um, her to the, the water so you can like, you know, move her to a boat, basically. Um, construct a harbor. I'm not sure what the harbor does. I might just produce C. Uh, I guess that's for, for moving Wagner. We could do that. Yeah, that actually might be a good idea. Let's do that. Just for added, like, safety measure. So, um, the, the, this kaiju is going to move towards the lookout. So what we're gonna do is move the tank over here and do that one damage. This, the fighter has, well, it, it can make it. Yeah, it will make it. So the, 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 the fighter has better counter than a lot of these other units. So we're gonna attack from the side because remember the kaiju's gonna move this way and try and do as much damage with them. And then we'll do one damage and then also counter damage because fortunately the counter damage does not count towards, um, like it, it, it doesn't count as being an attack, so they'll take the two damage. So now it's about to attack my airbase. Oh, I, sorry, about to, Never mind. it did. And it recovers two health. Um, all right. Did we get our, is that our second or first breakthrough? I think that's only our first. Gain three science. So we could gain three science towards a milestone. Or we could deal three damage plus one for each army base. That'd be nice. Does this count? It actually does. It doesn't take that da it, it doesn't like block that damage. If we could also do one more damage, it looks like we can't. That's really unfortunate. If I could do one more damage, it would slow the kaiju down. Um, that would be really good. And I'm, like, I can't... Uh, like build a fighter and move them in the same turn. That was redeployed by the way. So even though we lost our fighter, the, the fighter just needs to be repaired. Um, so that's that's nice. Um, we could, well, we, it's not time yet, but we need, we could build, a, start working on another, uh, another base, but we won't for now. So goodbye to that building and all of the people in it. Unfortunately. So that's the enemy uh, finding out where Wagner is. So it is now turn seven. I don't think I'm going to be winning this optional. I'm certainly not going to be killing the kaiju if that was ever a hope. Um, so let's get some three. Let's get three science. Uh, hopefully that'll that'll get us our second milestone soon enough. This guy is really moving out there, and I can't damage it like at all. So I, I didn't mean to do that, but um, I, I'm not really gonna move towards it in the hopes of hurting it. Just in, maybe in the hopes of like um, hemming it in a little bit. So let's go ahead and repair our bomber, and we're just gonna follow it towards the lookout tower and then try and hurt it when it uh, when it's done with whatever. 
breach has occurred. The enemy has overcome our security. Fortunately, they're all the way on the other side of the map. Maybe that isn't fortunate, because now I don't know at all what direction they're going to go in. But we only need to survive, I think, two turns. Sorry, one more turn, because that then we'll have enough uh, science for our next milestone. Um, construct an airfield. I don't think there's really much need to do that. Like, we could, but I don't think it, it's going to help us much. So we're just going to move all of our units over there, and then hopefully one of them gets a counter off and hurts it. I know the missiles won't get a counter, so if it, the, the missiles die, then that's just unfortunate. Okay, we got lucky. So they took two damage, now they are... They moved twice next turn, okay. But we get our lab points and we hit our second milestone. So, I feel like the only way to win by turn seven is if I somehow killed the kaiju. Or maybe I built another lab. Because that would get us another... I don't, I don't know. Like, this is the thing is I'm not sure what the optimal strategy is in this game. But I know that killing the kaiju just feels, like, absurdly difficult. Um, and it just, like, seems like, no pun intended, but the deck is sta stacked against you. Okay, so the main, the key to this whole thing was I wasn't building uh, the experimental weapons in both labs. Um, <laughs> I was only building them in one at a time. So, uh, that was, that's my bad. Dude, win by turn nine? I don't know how we're meant to do that, honestly. And that wasn't even on hard mode. Oh, okay, this is how. You get to upgrade your units. First unit of each type in a unit is an ace. They can have strain, stronger stats if metals are have been used to power them up. So this is how. So um, they've injected replayability on old missions by uh, allowing you to upgrade your 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 vehicles. So um, sure, yeah, why not? That's kind of cool, actually. I, I I can appreciate that. So like for instance, our ace fighter. I really like the ace fighter for its counter. So we could do that, and extra speed would be good too. That's a lot of metals we just used, but that's okay. So we could, I could double down on like our fighter and our like tank. Um, tank has pretty good counter as well. We might be better off with our like ace missiles. So let's like add some more attack to our missiles and um, let's spread it out a bit actually. Let's do like one on ace tank and then counter on ace tank. And that, that'll do it. So, okay, so apparently you can upgrade your units. That's good to know. There was one last thing I was going to talk about, which was the interface in the main menu. <laughs> so, I mean, we may as well get this over uh, while we're at it. Um, not a huge fan of the main menu. It's, like, needlessly extra. And it actually, like, didn't... It did a lot to confuse me uh, in terms of, like, how do I start playing the game? Uh, now, a lot of people might click on this and, and see campaign, but um, I didn't necessarily. There's like a lot of extra things that just kind of do nothing, including turtles and... Oh yeah, you got the Wilhelm screen, that's good. And uh, about us and custom missions. Like once you see the TVs, I don't know why we can click on this. Watch film, Super Ape, okay. Apparently we can do this. Truly bizarre. The last diff major difference I was gonna talk about is this game, I haven't really said anything about it yet, is not a roguelite. It's not a roguelike, it's not a rogue anything. It's a campaign, uh, campaign tactics game. Like it's, it's very, it's actually a very kind of straight shooter comparatively speaking to a lot of uh, what we've been seeing lately. And uh, all right, all ground units gain plus one attack and speed. No, that's not good. We're gonna, we're gonna gain extra eight gold for this first turn so that we can start building some stuff. Where is the kaiju gonna be? Right in the center there. Okay, so we might be getting a new kaiju type this time. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna build a new base. We're gonna make our, deploy our ace uh, anti-air, I suppose. I can't really see the difference. Oh, I guess we didn't really put any points in our ace AA. 
Weird that we get an Ace AA despite the fact that um, we didn't put any points in it, but we are going to um, build our tank because I know that our tank is better. So that is our Ace tank. And uh, then we'll build... I don't know. Oh, there's our Ace miss missiles. So we've got our two Aces now. Can't really do anything else. So here comes our uh, new Kaiju type, maybe. Oh, shit. It's... Uh, Moltres. Mo moth Mothtrez. As one big flying turkey, flying for such a large creature must be tiring. If we can hurt him a bit, he'll land. So I guess this is where anti-air is, is really good, right? Um, did that thing just come out of that volcano? It's glowing, what does that mean? That glow means it's about to unleash an ability. Check on the uh, monster's Monster and hover over its ability. I can also, I can talk to these guys. They'll give me advice and stuff. Missiles in AA do more damage to flying targets, but tanks and bombers can't shoot them at all. Okay, so tank, the tank is not going to be useful for me. Counter damage works no matter what, though. Okay, so the tank will be useful to me. Then I can talk to the other one. If you can reduce this kaiju to its last health bar, you can force it to land. The uh, kaiju's eruption ability also has a countdown. Keep an eye on it to minimum. Okay, so this one has a countdown somewhere. Um, eruption every four turns. Destroys all adjacent units. Jeez. Um, remove all crises. Deploy or repair a unit for free. Let's do an air force for free. Because that's basically 12, uh, 12 coins for free. And then we can start building more units. Is this as fa far as we can... I guess it's uh, near the... Um, mountain, so we can't really do anything about that. We can't attack with the tank, but what we can do is move it nearby and hopefully we'll do some counter. We'll do, we'll do three counter if we get really lucky. Um, we want to make sure we don't lose our missiles without doing damage first, so we're going to move them out of the way. And then what we'll do is we'll deploy some anti-air. We'll also deploy our ace anti-air, so that means we have two anti-air. Do these have counter? They do, but I don't know if that's going to be applicable in this situation. So, has it been four turns? Uh, I, I really thought that I had four turns to, like, do stuff before it did its thing. Okay. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that one. Oh, okay, so now it's four turns. I see, so it was ready to do it when I looked at it. So it's going to take us, unfortunately, a while to get over there, and it's going to be able to attack pretty much whatever it wants. Work uh, through lunch. We'll get three science. That'll work. We need three milestone to beat this mission. Uh, let's go ahead and deploy for free. So we'll get um, our ace tank back, but maybe we want missiles instead. Okay, so the one nice thing is like once the like when the uh, the kaiju is like attacking uh, a building, outside of some un exceptional cases where the enemy has buffed it with an extra attack, it stops its movement completely, so we don't have to play the guessing game anymore. Um, so what I'm gonna do? I mean, this guy is gonna take a while to get over here, but we're going to um, start hitting it. And I have turned off all of the animations again because I I just do not want to deal. Uh, all right, pay three to construct a lab. That'll give us extra, um, like extra um, research per round. We'll build it somewhere really out of the way, so that works out. So um, these are all of the units that Tamathra is. Sorry, whatever it is, not the Mothra. Moltres is is uh, considering destroying right now. So that's actually the best of all world because it means that we're gonna get some counter attacks. Living on the edge. And uh, we have hurt it enough to reduce its um, movement to three. This this unit has is really. Yes, it has to move over rubble, that's why. 
So all of our units are not doing well right now. Deployer reply, repair unit for free. Experimental freeze ray attack slow kaiju. This uh, could be good. Um, so there's our experimental weapon and I'll have a lab start working on that. Let's do this one. If security reaches zero, a breach occurs, revealing Dr. Wagner's position to the kaiju. So there, I'm hoping we're gonna get away with quite a bit of counter damage right now. Yeah, that, that works out. It's like a good, bad situation, honestly. We're getting quite a bit of uh, research. We only got to our first uh, breakthrough now. So we're gonna have to, none of our units are in a, in a good position to like hit the, the hit them. We'll probably just, well, actually, what, what is our movement? Three, one. So we, I don't even know if we'll have uh, time to, to, to deploy. Also, I just realized that it's about to destroy all um, adjacent stuff. So that's, that's no good. Um, construct an air form. All ground units gain plus one attack and speed this turn. Plus two if you have an HQ. Okay, let's do that. That'll actually be let me attack it twice and do quite a bit of damage and actually ground it. So there you go. That's quite nice. We're going to lose both those units, but that's okay. Um, let's go ahead and repair our ace anti-air. We don't need to, we're not going to evacuate. I think we're going to be fine, actually. So it's it's erupting. It's going to destroy those two units. We'll repair them on the next turn. That's fine. It, does it still get to move? It does. So it has, like I guess, two movement now as opposed to uh, three. What is this? What's happening now? <laughs> We have a crisis. Our units can't move through a crisis, and kaiju will heal two if they step on one. Sending a unit will resolve the crisis, but also destroy that unit. Well, we had a card that lets us resolve crisis, um, which we don't have right now. That's cool. Um, this is, I guess, this is my issue with the cards. Is like, you know, like you can't really plan around them. I know that they inject a little bit of, uh, you know, flavor, uh, to put it bluntly uh, like a little bit of extra um stuff not i don't know like obstacles it's like the reverse of obstacles it's like a bonus that you don't get to rely on and i i kind of like dislike it um because although it's kind of nice like oh yeah i get this extra bonus um not being able to plan around it can be really a bummer I'm gonna get the three science. And we're gonna deploy um, missiles. We should get our um, freeze ray on the next turn. So that the crisis just automatically happened. We built on an, a base where the crisis happened and so we just like don't get that unit. And I see these are, these are reoccurring. Very good. That's uh, that's that's uh, that's definitely something we got to work around. So we are gonna get our freeze ray. Um, supply con convoys. Construct a harbor for free. Let's go ahead and evacuate now, and we should be able to get this in the same turn. We're gonna basically move her to a different lab. This is a very temporary uh, kind of strategy because this lab is like the next thing the kaiju is going to destroy. Okay, let's do supply convoy, and we're gonna we're gonna try and hit this thing. I guess since it's technically a ground unit, we're not, we're doing less damage with our anti-air. So let's get our tank out. Um. Ace missiles. We're gonna win this. We're not gonna win by whatever the extra objective is. Win by turn nine, I don't think that's gonna happen. Let's 
So we will freeze it on the next turn. That does like one damage. Maybe we can get a extra, like a free, um, no, never mind. Okay, let's, yeah, construct a harbor. Can we do that here? No, we can't. Okay, so never mind. I, I regret that. I 100% regret that. So we're gonna get our truck and then we're gonna move them. And now we're not gonna get um, research basically ever again. All right, we're just gonna hit this, keep continue hitting uh, Mol Moltra. And um, do, I don't even know if I want the harbor. Like it would have been, it might have been nice. Do we, we have a lot of money? Uh, we don't really have a lot of money. Let's just make some more units. There's honestly no reason not to. It's, yeah, we can't do that. Okay, let's uh, let's call it there. Fortunately, we're gonna be able to keep our vehicle there, and this unit doesn't have an, an annoying like attacks adjacent units thing so we can continue hitting it with our mm -hmm. missile launcher let's um oh remove all crazy yeah let's do that nice we're gonna continue to just like needle away at uh, at the mothra moltra I'll, I'll i'll decide on a name later <laughs> um it kind of sucks. All of our units are far away, but we will eventually. Oh, okay. So never mind. Yeah, I forgot about the eruption. It, it will destroy my adjacent units. But it only does it every four turns, which is honestly totally reasonable. We're just moving towards that other lab slowly. There we go. Um, construct an airfield. We don't really need to do any of this stuff. Like, we're, we're about to win here. In fact, there's no way you're, there's nowhere for it to go. It'll die from counter damage. Unless it can go in the water. I didn't really think of that. I didn't think that the flying firebird could go in the water. Ah, uh, see, now... That's why I don't like that mechanic. That's why I truly, truly do not like that mechanic. Because you end up in situations where I was about to win and then it has nine health again. Um, that just 100% isn't fun to me. But, uh, you know... Like one could argue, well, that means you have to kind of stay on your, you know, keeps your keeps you on your toes, right? It's gonna keep you guessing and all of that stuff, and and sure, but I, I I don't know. I just feel like there may be better ways than just like let's just give the kaiju a bunch of health and uh, undo the last like three to four to five turns worth of you know strategy. Um. So, yeah, uh, maybe I'm off base on that. I'm willing to believe I am. Okay, we're, we are gonna do like a ton of damage here. Never mind. Slows awkward units. All right, we killed it. Now, maybe I'm whining over nothing, but since it happens randomly, since you don't know what's about to happen, since you can't really plan around it, I just find it to be kind of demoralizing like oh okay well you're just gonna give him health and there's not really any explanation why i'm sure in the story we'll find out that there is someone helping the kaiju but that's that feels very contrived to me if i'm being honest these eruptions were not natural the volcano itself has somehow been tampered with whoa whoever we're up against has built a volcano base we're falling behind we need a volcano base too we did not complete the optional quest, which is fine. Mission completed, Mountain of Doom. So now they have a conversation about what we should be calling this, and I'm going to call it Moltra. 
Moltra it is. And that's going to do it for Kaiju Wars. Uh, I know I spent a lot of this um, kind of talking about what I don't like about it. Believe it or not, I do actually like this game. I do, I would like to play more of it, maybe like in my off time. Um, there are definitely things that bother about me about it. I like where the heart and spirit of this game is at. I do appreciate just the genuine love for like these old kaiju movies and the you know flavor of the whole thing is pretty genuine. Um, and I also appreciate that this game treats units a lot more disposably, which is fairly novel for these kind of games. Um, you know, you can just like, yeah, you know, I'll just throw units at the monster until it's dead. But at the same time, that maybe that le le uh, lends to the strategy not being as deep as it could be. So I don't know. And the fact that uh, your units aren't as good at the beginning of the game as they're going to be later, and then you can go back with powered up units is like, generally, I actually like that in story based games or campaign based games. I talked about that in my Druid Stone playthrough. Uh, I really kind of like that you can, you know, just go and grind missions and get some extra stuff and then come back and, you know, blast through a previously difficult mission. So I actually don't mind that in this game since it's not a roguelite. That's actually totally cool to me. But I can see it also rubbing some people the wrong way. So long as the mission is balanced for like your first playthrough of it, you know, where it's it doesn't feel completely one-sided, then I think it's fine. That being said, I don't know if that's the case. So you'll have to maybe let me know in the comments and let me know if this is a game you have played uh, and, and adamantly disagree with everything I said, which is totally cool. Um, I still want to thank uh, Foolish Mortal Games Inc. for giving me a chance to play this as well as the Game Development World Championship for collaborating with me and, and uh, letting me try this game. Uh, I hope I wasn't too harsh, and maybe you can let me know in the comments uh, if, despite my complaints, if this is a game you would be interested in trying. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, maybe hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this in the future. I'll see you next time. Take it easy.